Okay, today I'm gonna show you guys how I did this routing portion of this wine shelf I made. I got the plans for the wine shelf from DIY Pete. It's exactly like his, minus the customization in the front. Thought I'd take it a step further. I think that makes it really pop. I mean, he shows you the stain, the exact cuts, how to assemble it, everything to the T. So I'll put a link somewhere and go check his video out. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what you'll need and he can show you exactly how to put it together. But it's pretty much just one, two, three, four, five. So five, one by fours, whatever wood of your choice. This is like Douglas fir or whatever. Five one by fours at 30 inches long. Then you'll need one one by four at 27 inches long. That's the bottom of here. So all of these are 30 minus this one here. Then you'll need two two inches. That's a little spacer out of the one by four. Then you need one, two, three pieces of two by four. Two of them are gonna be at 11 inches. The center one is gonna be 10 and a quarter because it's sitting on top of one of the one by fours. So you do the math and that gets you even all the way across the top. You can kind of see the side view. So this is the 30 spacer, 27, two by four, 30 incher, 30 incher, 30 incher, 30 incher. You want to make sure you hit a stud 16 inches on center. One, two. These things are pretty heavy. You don't want this thing falling off the wall. This, the dimensions that he made it, they hold eight bottles of wine. Eight bottles of wine, six glasses. This thing was full. My wife got into it. Go, go, go. She likes to drink wine. But like I said, he'll give you an exact rundown on how to make it. I'm gonna show you how I did this woodwork in the front here. So just hold on one second. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is print out what you want it to say. This one is somebody, I uh, posted it on my Facebook. Somebody wanted me to make a one, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm a couple of men already, so I'll show you a couple quick things that made it easier as I went, being this is the second or third one that I made. Uh, you print out whatever you want. You get some transfer paper here. As you can see, it says Mo right there. Excuse my mess here. But so you take one of your 30 inch 1x4s, lay it here, center it up, trace it, then you route it. I just use a simple router, uh, the eighth inch straight bit, went about 3 16ths deep. And then you get this, Moe's Wine here. Uh, I kind of back, I use this Rust-Oleum to paint. So yeah, I'm gonna do a few coats of this white, so that way the grooves are white. And then I'm gonna stain it a completely different color. So I'm gonna show you that too. Um, yeah, just go over with the white. Then after that's done, You'll sand it down, and then this will become bare wood again, and the white stays down in the holes. That I just use a simple palm sander. Boom. Okay. So when I stained it, what I did, I know this may sound funny and on, 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 ah, unorthodox. You see, this is another one I'm working on. I put salt. I put salt in the holes here and level it off right so that way when I go to stain it the stain I just use this uh, min wax poly shades Bombay mahogany like a gloss finish so since the salt is buried in here of course it can't stain and penetrate so it stays white so like that so after you've done all your coats you all your coats of uh, you know, your, whatever stain color you want to do, you blow out, just push out the salt. Sometimes the salt may dry a little bit. I just took a little nail and got it out. But for the most part, I just blew it out. 
you know, my air compressor over there. Look at that. Yeah, I do bowl. But uh, yeah, blow it out. Then you can go over with a coat of clear if you want, even though that's a clear coat and stain in one. And you come up with that. So then, hold on one second. I'm gonna put it on pause and let's get the other portion of the rack. Okay, so here's the other half of it. All ready to go. So when I'm done with this, that's just gonna go right there. Bam, Tracy's one. And that's pretty much how you do it. I say go, go visit DIY Pete. If you need in deep detail, he does a pretty good job of telling you exactly how to cut around these corners off, exactly what sizes and how to assemble it. But if you're looking at it, you can pretty see it's pretty straightforward on how to put it together. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, inbox me and I can answer or direct you to where I got my information from or give you any tips. But there it is. Simple wine shelf. Thanks for watching.